my channel Shanice here and today we are going to be talking all about my color this is gonna be like a color update video where have I been is she good still are we beefing do I hate my color now I'm gonna answer all those questions in this video so if you're interested please keep on watching all right so I got my hair colored in August of 2017 I got my hair colored by Kyra colors hair on Instagram she's so bomb if you're in Chicago and you need a colorist that's good with natural hair, go to her because she's so bomb. And yeah, life has been great. It has been different, of course, because I mean, you color your hair and it requires more of you. But we're going to get into that, you know, a little bit later. But yes, my hair has been doing pretty okay, I must say. Um, I've never gone this blonde or done this drastic of a color before. So before I did my color... I guess we can just start right off the gate. So before I did my color, the first thing I did was I researched. Before you guys go out and get your hair colored, please do your research. It's very important. You want to know, one, who you're going to. You want to know what color you're going to do. You want to know, is it going to require me to switch up my products? Is it going to require me to put in more effort with my hair? Like if you're lazy and you want to go blonde, don't do it <laughs> because your hair is going to just fall right off and you're gonna be so sad and bald-headed so don't do it you want to do your research it's very very important before you guys go out and color your hair and that's exactly what I did um, I did my research I knew exactly what I was gonna need I knew exactly how I was going to have to take care of my hair what I was gonna do and all those things that's very important for you to know before you guys go out and color your hair I actually got a few questions that people asked me about my hair and I'm going to answer them right now so the first question was, has my hair broken off or have I experienced breakage? And yes, I have experienced breakage. That's kind of inevitable. Inevitable. Huh? And I told her, <laughs> that is kind of inevitable when you are coloring your hair. When you're lifting it and you're going like a sort of blonde color, your hair's gonna break. And you kind of can't avoid it. I mean, the second thing I say is, just keep your hair moisturized as much as possible because your hair has been lifted you're going to need to put more moisture on it because it needs it you know what I'm saying you have dried out your hair basically and your hair needs a lot more moisture than you used to and for myself what I usually do is I wash my hair a little more often I used to wash my hair maybe like once a week now I wash it maybe twice maybe three times depending on what I'm doing most of the time it's like twice a week so it does require more of me it is kind of annoying you know I can't just be nonchalant about my hair anymore because I don't want it to break off so yes I do have to wash my hair a little bit more often and that's what I've done so yes I've washed my hair more often and yeah that's what I've done to kind of combat the breakage and I haven't really experienced a lot of breakage a little bit but not too much and another question I've gotten is how is life you know since I've gotten color and and to be honest, to be honest, life really hasn't changed. <laughs> I mean, yes, my color is different. I look like a whole new person. But all in all, my life really hasn't changed. I do have to, you know, obviously take, put more time and effort into my hair because I don't want it to fall out. But um, overall, my hair and my life has not really changed. Another question is, has my curl pattern changed? My curl pattern has changed a little bit. Um, my curls have always really been loose. Kind of especially well i have a few different curl types honestly but around the top and the back have been always been loose the sides have always been super curly so yes my curls probably changed slightly but not a lot i mean that's why it's important to go to a professional you guys because you don't want to go to somebody or do it at home and then you end up just completely damaging your hair that's no fun so yes because i went to a professional my curls are still intact i still have curls i mean and i still love my hair it's just blonde <laughs> but yes um all in all I really hope I answered all your questions I don't really have much that's changed the biggest thing that's changed is the time and effort I put into my hair I was super lazy before but now I know 
after doing the research that I can't be lazy with my hair, especially being blonde. Um, it does require more of you, and it required more of me, um, which is fine. I mean, that's just life, you know what I'm saying? So, my hair has definitely been fun. I do enjoy my color. I don't know if I'm going to go blonder or if I'm going to, you know, do another color in the future. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But yes, all in all, my hair is great. Um, my curls are still intact. I love my color. Um, yeah, that's my update so far. If I can leave you guys with anything, it's do your research, keep your hair moisturized, and just take care of your hair. Love your hair. Once you love your hair, your hair will flourish. Your curls will flourish. You'll start glowing, and you'll just you look great. <laughs> so, yes, that is all that I have. I hope I answered all of your questions. If you guys have any additional questions for me please don't hesitate to ask me down below to more than happy to answer them for you but yes if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel also don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you know the next time i drop another video and stay tuned for more bye y'all